my Smuggler's exclusive hat on from Funko. Uh, not sponsored again, by the way. What's up, guys? It's your friend, x 47 Hello, friends. And I'm here to do a, another review video, um, as the title already says. Um, I just got back from watching Batman The Killing Joke. <laughs> Before I wanted to talk about that, I wanted to show something off real quick that I, and it's another collecting habit of mine. Uh, I didn't want to this in the collector hall because I wanted to see if I would actually like these things. And so far, I like them. So I'm going to start doing these. Found a new addiction. I'm going to try and collect all of these. It is the Best of Bethesda uh, Mystery Minis. And uh, Bethesda is one of my favorites. Um, Naughty Dog is probably my first favorite. And then um, after that would be... Bethesda. Bethesda does games like Doom, Fallout, The Elder Scrolls, um, they did The Evil Within, and they did Dishonored, Doom, I think I said Doom already. Anyway, cool games, and these, I like the Mystery Minis because they're cool, but as far as like these ones, I just want to see if I like them, and I love them. So the first one I got, I haven't played this game, and I really want to try it. Um, it's the Dishonored character, so I got the Dishonored guy. From the first game, I don't know his name. I like I said, I never played the game, but I liked it. You know, I I still I definitely want to play it. You know, and so I was I thought it was kind of funny that I got this guy first. Um, actually, one of the GameStop exclusives is a Dishonored character. Is this guy? But he has a beard, so I guess he's much older. But boom, there you go. It was kind of funny because then I got I got his daughter, the girl, in the second one. So I got two Dishonored characters. Um, I hope I really don't get duplicates. That's the only thing I fear about these mystery minis. Anyway, so there's a new collection. Look for these more in the future on my channel. Let's get rid of that. Let's talk about this movie. So, The Killing Joke is an adaptation from the um, comic book or graphic novel, as you, whatever you want to call it, um, story about the Joker. You know, trying to show that madness is the only way to forget people's problems. All that kind of stuff. I'm not gonna get into it. Um, I just want to talk about the movie itself. The movie is entertaining. Entertaining wise, it's entertaining. It's fun to watch. It keeps you on the edge of your seat because you're, look, you're looking to see what happens next. Um, and I, they did such a good job with this movie to the fact where it was literally pretty much quote for quote. I found the comic book online for free to read so I read it. And now after watching this movie I kind of want to go get it. This is by far one of the best DC animated movies that I've seen since, since now. Um, as far as it's it's better than my favorite Disney or Disney DC um, film adaptation. I don't know if it's my favorite yet. Um, it's a toss up in the air. You know, it's it's a good. It's definitely good. Um, my favorite right now still. I still haven't decided. But my favorite um, before the the Killing Joke was Under the Red Hood, um, and that was about well the Red Hood. It was about Joker who kills um, Robin. Uh, not Dick Grayson, the other one. I don't remember his name, I can't think of it. Oh, Jason Todd is where he kills Jason Todd. So that's under the red hood. But this one, um, it's about... it. Well, I'm not going to really say what it's about. It's just because I don't want to spoil it. If you haven't read the comic, read the comic. If you haven't seen it, go see it. Um, it comes out... Dig tomorrow it comes out digitally. Um, so July 22nd it comes out... Or 26th, excuse me, 26th. It comes out digitally so you can get it digitally... Um, and then it comes out August, I think, yeah, August 1st, um, physical. And I'm probably going to get the Collector's Deluxe, whatever it's called, uh, edition of it on Blu-ray. It was that good. I loved it. Um, for my rating, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. It was it was that good. Movie-wise, it was that For a movie, without looking at comics or anything, or like the Batman storyline, all that, movie-wise, it was good. It was an entertaining movie. Highly recommend it. Definitely worth the ticket price. Um, which is was more than what the usual movie price goes for. That's because it's a um, it was a one night thing, or I guess two nights now. Um, and see, I don't want to get into spoiled territory with this because I know there's a lot of people that want to watch it and it hasn't come out yet. Then again, some people might not care. Um, but it was literally um, not. I'm not, I don't want to say 100% because I don't remember. I would have to reread the comic and then watch the movie, you know, back to back to see if it's word for word. But from what I know. From what I saw and watched, it was it was word for word from the comic. That was amazing. That blew my mind. I absolutely loved that. Um, when they reimagine uh, comic books into an actual movie, 
it and you're you know you're attached to the comic it's like wow this is literally like boom that's what i like about these dc anime movies that they're able to do that they're able to take comic and just say here let's make this into an animated movie opposed to like you know cinematic world um where they introduce all the different characters and stuff like that but again i won't get in that um is it the best movie i've ever seen no but um is it the best batman animated movie i've seen Probably, yeah. I would say, yeah. It probably might be. Under the Red Hood was really good, though. I love Batman Under the Red. I think it's called Under the Red Hood, I'm pretty sure. That is the best animated Batman I've ever seen. The Killing Joke. It's probably a good, like, tie between them. Like, they're pretty much tied for first. They're pretty good. But, yeah, I give Batman The Killing Joke 10 out of 10. Um, obviously, you know, for an animated movie, it was one of the better animated movies I've ever seen. Um, compared to other movies, it's way down the list still. But it was a very, very, very good movie. I'll end up getting it on Blu-ray. It's really good. I definitely recommend it 110%. 10 out of 10, you'll love it. You'll love the story because it really connects you with the Batman and the Joker. You know, their rivalry. And then you kind of... The ending part really just... It, it pulled in my heartstrings and it made me really emotional. I, I loved it, you know. Um, I was with my good friend, so I really couldn't show my emotions. But, um, no, I loved it. it. I was stunned. I was impressed. I was stunned. And I'd highly recommend it. 10 out of 10, Batman, The Killing Joke. Um, once again, I'm not sponsored by any way. I'm just giving my opinion about it. This is the semi-review. I'm not famous at all, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but this is Legend 47 and that's all I got today, guys. I'm just going to hang out, chill, <sighs> recap on the movie. I really think about which one I liked more, but um, as far as, you know, movie-wise, it was a good, entertaining movie, and as far as, like, you know, Batman and, you know, Batman comics and Batman storyline, it was good. It was very relevant to the Killing Joke storyline. I loved it. It really defines the, it's like the Joker's origin story, pretty much, you know, it, like, kind of the origin story, you know, but... Anyway, guys, that's all I got for right now. Again, so stay tuned for more of these guys, for more of these best of Funko, best of Funko, best of Bethesda by Funko, Mystery Minis. I'm not a huge fan of the Mystery Minis, but this one I'm very interested in. So, I'm going to get more of these. I'm going to do some unboxings. I'll watch out for those in my haul videos. Um, and hopefully I get all of them there. So I think, let me see. Um, there's three GameStop exclusive, and then there's... So there's there's 12 total, and then three exclusive. So there's 15 total. So I want to try and get them all. Um, the GameStop ones uh, that's gonna be kind of a toss up because there's three of them, and three out of 15. I mean, um, anyway, like I said, I hope I don't get duplicates. That's the only thing I worry about. If I do do duplicates, maybe I'll give them away on a giveaway or something, or you know, maybe I'll just I'll donate them or whatever. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, guys. This video is going on longer than it's supposed to be. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. You guys are awesome. Hope you guys like the new Funko hat that I got. It even says pop right there on it. Star Wars pop. Um, my stepdad uh, actually gave this to me. So thank you. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. And have an awesome day, friends. Have an awesome day. Wa-bam! Hey guys, also, a little side note, um, this is my first, like, I haven't done, like, one of these kind of vlogs in a while. Um, a side note, um, my birthday's coming up on Friday, um, and I want to do my first q and I thought that'd be fun, you know, I'm turning 20, kind of a big deal, I'm almost 21, cool beans, whatever, uh, but I want to do a Q&A, so this is, like, kind of saying, like, oh, here's my Q&A announcement, I post it on my Instagram, you go check out my Instagram, I post it on Facebook, check out my Facebook, Twitter, I even post it on Twitter, and I don't really use Twitter, um, so yeah, just comment questions, give me questions, and whatever about whatever. I only have like four questions, so again, I'm not famous. So um, anyway, guys, thanks a lot, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later, friends. Bye-bye.